He's back! I think he's back at least. Yeah, 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 he's back. He's definitely back. I think. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review John Wick. Chapter 2. So John Wick Chapter 2 stars Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, Ruby Rose, and Ian McShane. And the film does tell the story of John Wick. He has a new dog as shown from the end of the previous film. Things are going well for him until John Wick gets his house blown up. So because of that, it now forces him. He's literally forced to come out of retirement to repay some debt. Only to find out that there's a large bounty that is out to go get John Wick. So John Wick Chapter 2, I was looking forward to the movie. I was very interested in it because I liked John Wick. I thought it was a fun, B-rated kind of action flick. It had incredible cinematography. It had incredible action sequences along with a good script. And of course, Keanu Reeves was a badass. So I had a lot of fun with John Wick. I don't think it's a great movie by any means, but I thought it was good. Definitely. So you can imagine how much I was actually looking forward to chapter two. Chapter two, I was definitely hoping could be just as good, if not maybe even be better than the original John Wick. And now that I've seen John Wick chapter two, I could definitely say this. There's a lot of passion that went into this film because, wow, the action sequences in John Wick chapter two are stunning. Just like the original film. They are just as good, if not better than the original. They might actually be a little bit better. They're more crazy. There's a scene dealing with a pencil. A freaking pencil. That was just badass. The action, when it's going down, it's utterly badass. And I really enjoyed those scenes. I had a blast with the action sequences. They're so well filmed. You could see what's going on. They're really intense. They're really exciting. And I was just pumped when the action sequences were happening because credit to the filmmakers, the stunt team for just creating such beautiful action set pieces. A lot of hard work definitely went into this film and I absolutely respect the hell out of the director, the writers, everyone. And Keanu Reeves, to no surprise, is a badass. He was a badass in the first film and he continues to be a badass in John Wick Chapter 2. Keanu Reeves just owns this role and his acting in this film is very impressive too. He just knows this role at this point and that's credit to him. Lawrence Fishburne, only in this movie for like five minutes. Yeah, but he's still really good. He still has a good screen presence. And even if it's for like a good five minutes, it's cool to see him and Keanu Reeves on screen again. That's for dang sure. I really like that. And Ian McShane, who I loved in the first film, I continue to love him in the sequel. Ian McShane is so awesome here. I really did think he continues to be that very impressive villain. Yes, this film is definitely funny. It has the humor of the original film. The original film made me laugh plenty of times, and the same thing does go for the sequel. There were plenty of times where I actually laughed. The soundtrack is terrific. I thought the music flowed well with the film. The cinematography is breathtaking. This film, on a technical level, is terrific. From action, from direction, to all those things, this movie is terrific. And that's why it is a huge bummer for me to say I was actually disappointed with John Wick Chapter 2. This film's not as good as the original film. Yes, it has incredible action for sure. The direction is there. The cinematography is beautiful. The stunts, Keanu Reeves, all that is terrific. But the biggest problem I have with this film is that the storyline wasn't that interesting. The original film had an interesting storyline. You're in and out. I was never bored. The problem is that whenever there's no action set piece happening in this film, I'm honestly quite bored. 
because I don't think the storyline is that interesting. And this film is longer than the original John Wick. The original John Wick was like one hour and 40 minutes. This film is like a little over two hours long and it clearly shows because my goodness, can this film really drag at points? And the setup for the film I thought was actually quite slow. It's not as slow as the rest of the movie whenever an action scene isn't happening, but it is quite slow because I thought this movie actually opened up strong. This film has an awesome opening scene and I'm going, yes, that's a great way to start this movie. It was funny. It was action-packed. It was awesome. It was clever. It was a great way to open this film and then, you know, there's a little bit of setup and I'm like, okay, I'm on board with this and then it goes on a little too long and then you have that first major, major action scene and then it's all uh, interesting. I'm like, okay, yes, this film could get better from here, right? And every time it just cuts the story, I'm not that interested. I do appreciate that this is different from the first. I am definitely glad it's not a rehash of the original. And that's something from the writer's point of view I respect. I respect that it's trying to be different. I respect that they're trying to build this world more. I just wish that I was more invested in the world building that's going on. Because you do find out more about the organization and what is going on there, but um, I just didn't really find that stuff to be that compelling. Not only that, as the film is going on, when you find out more about who's part of the organization, it kind of becomes a little too much, honestly. Common, I like Common. And I found his character to just be so uninteresting. He's just someone to go out and get John Wick, and that's it. He wasn't interesting. The villain in this film wasn't interesting. He's just there to be the villain. Ian McShane continues to be the most compelling thing as far as villains go. But any other villain you see in this film, they weren't that compelling to me. Unfortunately, Ruby Rose's character wasn't even that interesting in my humble opinion because she doesn't really speak. She actually doesn't say anything. She uses sign languages, which set up for potential for, ha for her to have an interesting character. But just like with a lot of these antagonists in uh, John Wick Chapter 2, they're just there to go out and get John Wick and that's all there is. I wish they could have fleshed out Ruby Rose to make her a more compelling character, but... No, just a couple of times where she'll interact with John Wick and I enjoyed those scenes, but aside from that, you know, there wasn't much to her, which is a shame. The motivation for John Wick to come out of retirement, I also didn't think that was that exciting. You know, at least with the first one, his motivation was exciting. His puppy gets killed, his car gets taken. So it was really, really great. It was exciting, but to see that he was basically forced because he didn't want to come out of retirement and I'm not going to spoil anything but why he's basically forced to come out of retirement I was just like really? I, I was underwhelmed and I'm not going to say anything but there are shots in the trailer of this film that were actually shown in the ending like you know that shot when John Wick says I'll kill them I'll kill them all yeah that was at the ending of this movie and there's also other few shots in the trailer that I found to be so intriguing I'm all like yes this is cool I can't wait to see how this film's gonna explore that certain shot or that certain shot only to find out they're at the end of the movie which is obviously a setup for John Wick chapter 3. I will say this about the ending though it does have me at least intrigued on where they could take John Wick chapter 3. I'll definitely say that. It's a weird of it's a weird ending. I didn't really know how to feel about it personally, but at least it does have me intrigued on where John Wick chapter 3 is going to go. Overall, John Wick Chapter 2, I think, is alright, but for me, I was hoping a little more from this film. It just really wasn't that memorable, aside from the incredible action scenes and Keanu Reeves and some of the funny moments that do happen. I am intrigued on where they will take Chapter 3 because the ending, even though I was scratching my head, at the same time, I am a little bit intrigued where they will take it, but as far as Chapter 2 goes, I personally don't think it's as good as the first. I'm I'm going to give John Wick Chapter 2 two and a half out of four stars. 
So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about John Wick Chapter 2, and which film do you think is better? Do you like the first John Wick more, or do you like the second John Wick more? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!